If you own one of these things, I would highly suggest you get Photoshop along with it. This is a video flip. They are pretty amazing. If you open the footage in Photoshop, you can edit it. You can apply filters. You can do a lot of crazy stuff. So let me just do a few things here. One thing, how do I crop film? Okay. So I have the sequence right about here that I want to shoot right from here. And I'm going to go click on this little tiny down arrow and I'm going to say trim to start. Then I'm going to go over here right about there and I'm going to say trim to end. Then I'm going to move this down. and then move this little guy down. That indicates my start and end point. Now, you can add text if you wanted to. So let me put some text down here. Jude's his name. It's my Great Dane. He's pretty clumsy. All Great Danes are though, I think. Perfect. Now, you can apply filters to this also. Here's a watercolor filter. Now, the bad thing about this is you're going to be applying this watercolor filter for every frame. So, generally that's fun uh, if you have no life. Here's a couple other things you could do, though, that apply to the whole entire footage. If I go in here, I can apply a new layer and let's go something like posturize posturize is pretty neat it knocks out color just the way watercolor kind of does and now I have this okay and I could pick how many levels of color I want so if I want more color I could okay other things you could do, well, any of these for that matter. So if you go in here, uh, you can choose pattern, gradient fills, exposure. Um, another thing is nice is about color, black and white, because the black and white, at least you can pick out what color is going to be gone out of the black and white. So I can lessen the grass up a little bit so he shows up better. All right, perfect for putting them on pet finder. <laughs> okay, now, uh, how do I get them out? Well, if I go in here and export render video, I can now export this to my desktop if I wanted to. I just have to select a folder, choose a name, and choose what kind of render do I want. Generally, I just use the default H.264. It works out and it's very universal for many things. For the document size, you know, I might want to change this into something else. Uh, this is 1280 by 720, but if you're uploading to YouTube, this would be considered HD. So, And since it's 64-bit now for Photoshop, it is very fast for exporting. And it depends how many filters you have too. So if I have a lot of filters, it has to go through. It is a little bit slower, but not too bad. Anyway, that is video within Photoshop. Hope you enjoy, and I would highly suggest you get a flip. They're pretty neat. Have fun in next video.